Welcome back to another Thursday night. Welcome. We are so excited to have you guys tonight. We are starting off with a bunch of little bitty puppies. But before we get started, of course, our normal housekeeping. If you guys are new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also type new in the comments below so that we can welcome you. And then if you guys are new, make sure that you type three question marks before you ask any questions. So that way we don't miss your questions. And we are going to get started with some fun things that we have. First of all, we have a few new items that we just made. And so we're going to share that with you guys. Hopefully you guys got the email of everything that we're going to go over today. But we're going to show you some new products. And we are going to name Dakota's puppies. And then we are going to go over the breed standards a little bit. Male versus female. Thank you. And um, ask to answer all of your guys' questions. So without any other topics, we are going to get started. Hi, right. Sonia. Welcome. Hi, guys. All right. So first, I want to start off with one of the cool things that we just finished making. And I have my little fake dog to, to show you guys on. That is our new bandana. They actually come with the collar already attached. You can take the bandana off. We have multiple sizes. And if these puppies would stop eating my shoes, we'll show you how super cute they are. So these are the little bitty ones. They adjust, of course, so they can go um, a little bit smaller and a little bit bigger but we have pink and we have blue. So of course our puppies are gonna be going home with these. The other cool thing is they are reversible and we have an eye print on the back. So those are so cute. So we don't have them on the website yet. That's because we didn't want to have a spoiler alert and let you guys know what it was, um, but we do have them and we are going to get them up tonight. Ow, you're biting me. Um, and so that way you guys can check them out. And the other thing, which is what we're going to be giving away, is dun, da, 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 a pair of socks. So we are now making socks. These are socks with Kika on them. Tons and tons of them. I'm going to come up close so you guys can see how adorable they are. Let me move them out of my way. that focused. Perfect. So Alexis is going to end up picking somebody for a pair of socks. If she happens to pick a guy, we will print them in blue. If it's for a girl, we'll print them in pink and we will get those off to you guys by the end of the weekend. So those are the two new fun things that we just made and they are so cool. I love, love, love the socks. So that was our first design. We have a couple other designs that we were working on, but I just had to show you guys because I was so excited about the pink ones that I had made. Um, anyhow, Alexis, do you have any questions? Um, you want to tell them how they're going to win those socks? Um, yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> if, um, of course, if you guys aren't new, you already know Alexis usually picks, um, but this week her um, goal is to pick somebody um, that is the top super chat, super sticker. And um, whoever that is that she picks, of course, she likes it when you guys engage um, as well. So she will pick somebody and um, announce that here in a little bit, probably in the next hour or so. Um, a couple of things, if you guys are new um, or haven't joined us in a while, we now have Super Chat and Super Stickers, and which is really cool, fun. We love seeing those stickers. And um, ouch, that money that um, we get from that, basically all goes back to the puppies and things that we buy. We just bought them this new cot, which is really fun. Um, and of course, lots of phones and toys, which you see them all over here. And so we appreciate your guys' support. And um, again, it all goes back to the puppies. So she will pick based on that. Um, we have a quick question regarding the bandanas. Yes. Um, do we get those whenever we buy a puppy? <laughs> that is my plan. My plan is that I will probably send them away, um, send them home with the puppies. However, I'm not positive yet because I need to see how much inventory I have and all of that stuff. Um, so I'm not promising that yet. Um, but 
hopefully at some point that's what we'll get to. Uh, hang on, I clicked the wrong button. They keep attacking me. Why do they keep attacking me? Huh? Why do they keep attacking me? All right, we good? Yes. I just okay. have to fix some things really quickly. Okay, awesome. Um, and so, our, if we don't have any questions, I'm gonna go through, start going through my stuff. Is that good? Yeah. All right, so if you guys don't know, we have out here right now all of Siggy's puppies, which she has six, and we also have Jazzy and Keanu's puppies. One of them, which is Ocean, is in my lap. And if you look right here, little Oakley is chilling out by my feet. Of course, they're a little bit younger, so they aren't normally uh, playing with the older puppies as much. And so they're like, what is going on? There's a lot of puppies. Hey, Alexis, you want to pan onto the other camera? I did. Uh, did you see her? You, yeah, you she, can't. It's like, it's so, they're it right in the middle of like, no, because one of the puppies was trying to get in the pool. Oh, That's I why. did not see that. She came back over here. Before we went live, um, it was really funny. Two of the puppies jumped right in the pool, and they haven't seen the pool yet. This was the first time that we put the pool out for this um, litter of puppies. So Thank it was really, really chat. cute. Thank you, Sandy. I and see she has, has a question. Yep. All right. Um, Hi, Vicky. What is it? Can you recommend another puppy front, back, the other on Amazon isn't available anymore? The, another puppy front, back? That's what it says. Another puppy front, back. Uh, Sandy, I'm not sure what you mean. Um, she said from Amazon, so I'm thinking your eyes behind you. Oh, maybe. Uh, I'm not know. sure. I, I need her to clarify what it is. Um, so when she does, let me know. Okay. Uh, okay. So if nothing else, I'm gonna get going. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, so first, <laughs> the first thing I wanted to talk about was um, males versus females. And so we get that question a lot, like what's better? What do we get more of? What do everybody? Um, ask for that type of thing and so I thought this would be a really good topic and little Nike does not want to stop eating my shoes um and so males versus females as far as what we produce we looked back and um we have produced 55 percent males and 45 percent females um in the last year so we're pretty close pretty even sometimes it is depending on the year but sometimes we get way more males or way more females. Um, usually over time, they do end up evening out. So it was really good to see that we're pretty close. 45 uh, versus, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 45 versus 55. And so that was one thing that I had looked into. The other is, I uh, know we get asked a lot about. Um, the backpack. What? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh. Sandy replied to carry like a backpack for the first. Oh, okay. Okay, let's just make a note of that. Um, so another thing we get asked a lot is what do uh, people ask for more? Do they ask for boys or girls more? And so it used to be more people wanted a girl. Nowadays though, it is pretty um, even or people don't care, they're open to either one just because they're eager to get a puppy and so the more flexible you are, the better uh, your chances of getting a puppy sooner. And so that's gonna be pretty even now. Um, but as far as the differences, that's the other question we get a lot with regards to gender is, um, what are the differences between a boy versus a girl? What do we see? And is that um, pretty typical of all clique high? And so of course, I can only talk about what I've experienced and what I see in our breeding program, um, but I'm going to assume it's probably pretty similar for other people. And so boys versus girls, you know, I really like my boys. I like the boys because they are not as moody. Um, they usually are more willing to please, um, not as assertive and dominant. Um, now there's always the exception to the rule, but generally speaking, I like the boys for those traits. Um, however, I have girls that are 
just as good as boys. Um, but another thing that I see with boys versus girls is that the boys tend to take longer to develop and mature. Um, they're goofy for a lot longer. So a lot of times we'll see the boys have their ears are off to the sides of their heads. They run with their, their tongue all sticking out sideways. And they're just really goofy. They're just teenage boys. Um, so they take a lot longer. And then the girls, they mature faster. They tend to be smarter quicker. Um, I wouldn't say they're smarter overall, but smarter quicker. So they pick things up faster when they're younger versus the boys. Um, um, but the girls are stubborn. So just because they pick it up doesn't mean they're going to always do it because they're the stubborn ones. Remember, the boys are usually the ones who want to please them more than the girls. The girls are like, eh, whatever, I'll do it later kind of thing. Um, again, this is just what I see, generally speaking. Um, so those are some of the things I wanted to share with you when it comes to the sizes of boys versus girls. There's no uh, set boys are bigger than girls or boys um, are way more than girls, that kind of thing. So everything is different. It doesn't really matter. It's all genetics and every set of parents. So sometimes in the litter, the boy's going to be bigger. Sometimes the girl's going to be bigger. Um, but generally speaking, I just wanted to share that information. Alexis, let me know if you have a question, okay? I don't, but I have uh, someone saying hi from Puerto Rico. Wow, all the way from Puerto Rico? Oh, my God. Welcome. I don't know what their name is, but oh, welcome. Luis. Hi, Luis. Welcome from Puerto Rico. All right, so that's a great thing. Let's see who else is from far away. So we are in California, and I'm curious, where is other people from? If you guys are out of state, let us know in the comments below. I'd love to hear where everybody is, um, is you know, chiming in from. I will tell you, today is my dad's birthday. He turns 75. The whole family was here earlier, and my brothers um, are all here from Oklahoma. So that was a lot of fun. So they're here from Oklahoma right now. Um, but I want to hear where everybody else is from. Um, I have a question. Okay. Um, Sonia says, I know German Shepherds usually bond with only one person out of the family. Do Klika usually bond with only one member of the family as well? Um, that's a great question. So a lot of it has to do with how they're raised in your home. So if you are the main person doing everything for that puppy. They are definitely probably going to bond to you first and choose you first. But if you share your duties of walking, training, raising, feeding, that type of thing, then the dog won't choose one person over the other necessarily. They will become like a family dog. So that's why it's important to share the duties amongst all of the family members because you don't want them to just be one person um, dogs. You want them to want to be with everybody. You want them to please everybody and respect everybody the same. Um, we have Minnesota, Hawaii, Texas, Maryland, Pasadena, California, California, Rhode Island, California, Rhode Island. Brazil, <laughs> Houston, <laughs> Texas, Northern Cal, Virginia, California, Washington, Massachusetts, Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, we have people from everywhere. Oh my God, I'm so happy to see that. Thank you guys for responding. That's Thank pretty amazing. Sticker. Thank you for the sticker. I love seeing that we have people from all over the whole country, really. Like we have Brazil and Puerto Rico. Um, I love it. So thank you guys for joining us and supporting us today. It means a lot to me and my daughter and of course the whole family. Um, so thank you guys for that. Thank you for the super chat, Emily. Thank you, Emily. Okay, if you don't have another question, I'm going to jump in here. You're good? No, nope, we're good. Okay, awesome. New York. So, New York City. Okay, <laughs> so next I wanted to talk about breed standards. So the Alaskan Klikai, of course, we have a breed standards. And what that means is that the breed should follow certain standards within our community and in our breeding programs. And inside of that, it'll say, what the dog should typically look like, what sizes they should be as far as the height, um, their temperament, their structure, their movement. So all of those things, and, and those are our guidelines on our breeding program. But what is the difference between a pet quality versus a breed quality? 
And so a lot of you may not realize what that is. And even on our paperwork, we ask you, are you looking for a pet quality or are you looking for a breed quality? And sometimes they're going to a pet home, but you still want a puppy that's breed quality per se. Um, and so that's okay because we don't keep every puppy that is breed quality and we don't always place our puppies with breeders. And so there's definitely a very high chance that you could get a puppy that is potentially breed quality. And so some of the things I wanted to talk about with that is um, with breed quality versus pet quality. So one of the big things in this breed is that their markings have to be symmetrical. So what is on the left has to be on the right. And if it isn't even, then that's a uh, little Oakley is starting to uh, get his um, testosterone up. He's decided to fight. And so what that means is that even it, not just the face, but the entire, you can't see them either. Oh, well, he's trying to show little Miss uh, Naomi, who's the boss. Um, and he does weigh more than her, by the way. Both of, of Jazz's puppies weigh more than two of Siggy's puppies, and they're a week younger. Um, so it could be that the markings on the face are even, but let's just say the markings on the chest or on the arms are not. So obviously anything, Alexis, you're loud, honey. I know, but he just walked over to you and just peed. <laughs> so watch your foot. <laughs> it's way over there. <laughs> I see it. He says, come here, come here. Um, so anyway, symmetrical, they have to be symmetrical. And the um, other thing that is important with markings is that the breed standards has changed several times since I've been involved with the breed. In fact, in 2015, no, 2013, something like that, I was actually on the board to help make changes to the breed standards. And one of the um, pictures that was used is actually Pika, which is actually pretty exciting and made me very proud. But um, anyways, the markings used to say that even split mask, which is where the, the white blaze will go up and down the nose bar, was acceptable and there was no problem as long as it was even. Just recently in 2019, I believe, um, it changed to where now a split mask, which is like Siggy, for example, and like Nala, that is considered a split mask. So now those markings have a fault. Now, what is a fault? So in the breed, there are several things that could be a fault. So you could have a fault for a white tip tail. Uh, I don't even think that's a fault, but a split mask. You could have a fault for over angulation or not having enough chest or something with the movement. And so if you have too many faults, points basically, that um, are not desirable, then the dog should not be bred, should not be shown. So back in my day, when I first started, that was never an issue. Now in 2019, that was changed to where it is a fault. Even though it is even, it's still a fault. That doesn't mean that they're not breed quality because they have to have multiple faults in order for them to not be breed quality. And why is that? What is the reason behind, oh, split masks now are a fault? Um, I'm gonna take and guess here, but my guess is that the more that you are lacking a mask, and when I say a mask, so say for example, like uh, this little boy here, his mask, when I talk about the nose bar, it's coming down his nose, when that is a solid color, but it doesn't extend down the sides of the nose, um, so then down the sides is white, but down here is solid, that's his mask and his markings. Whenever you start to lose that mask, the fear is that at some time down the road, generations, we're going to end up with a breed that is lacking a mask. And so that can be a challenge, right? Obviously, if we want the dogs to have a mask, then it's important for them to continue to keep that mask. And so that could be one of the reasons that this change was made. Um, I don't know because I'm not involved in any of those changes anymore, um, but just so you guys know, that's one of the faults. The other fault that um, has um, come up before is their tail. So their tail should be long enough to curl over and touch their back, right? So it needs to be long enough to do that. 
but it should also go up and curl when they're moving and alert. Now, not every dog is going to up and curl all of the time, but can they do it? And is it long enough to do it? Those are important things that this breed should have, where the Siberian Husky's tail goes straight out. You probably don't see a Siberian Husky with a tight curled tail. And so um, that's something that's very, very important for this breed. And so when you are looking at what's important to you, those are some things you wanna pay attention to. Does, when you look at the videos when the puppies are being offered at four and five weeks old, do, how do the puppies carry their tail? Um, is that important? And um, how are their markings and does that matter to you? And remember, the markings can change so much. And so that's another tricky thing is, you know, can it change or will it fill in or will it not fill in? Most people don't care if the markings are split or not split, if it's a tight curl or a loose curl. You guys are just looking for a pet. But there are times when people want what they want and they have something very specific and it may be that it's breed quality um, and it may be that it's pet quality. But 90% of my puppies go to pet homes anyways on a spay or neuter contract. And so it's not the biggest problem for us. However, as a breeder, what's important to me is I want to produce puppies that are within the breed standards, right? That's my number one is they, they should look like they're supposed to look. They should act like they should. Um, like, the, like the breed standard says, and their temperament should be like amazing. That's like my goal. Obviously, I shouldn't even have to say this, but they need to be healthy. So we want to weed out any type of genetic defects and things that would possibly carry on generations down in addition to all of these other things. So those are some of the tips um, and kind of ideas and tricks that you guys should be aware of whenever you're looking at puppies, looking at their markings, and what really matters to you. Now, don't get me wrong, a lot of people absolutely love the split mass. Me, I'm one for it because I think that it's a unique and not every puppy looks the same when they have that. And I don't want my puppies cookie cutter stamped. So I love being able to see this little guy here who has the probably the best personality out of every puppy here. And yeah, he has a split mass. And right now, it is not even. However, this little guy's probably will even out because it's gonna come in as he gets a little bit older. Would you stop biting me? Um, but those are things as a breeder when I'm looking at, okay, which puppy do I wanna possibly keep? And which puppy am I not really paying attention to? Those all are factors for me. And so whenever I was talking about last week, who do I wanna keep and it's between little Miss um, Nadia and Naomi, well, why wasn't that one on the radar? And she wasn't on the radar, not because she's not any better or worse than these guys when it comes to personality and structure. However, she does have a split mass. Right now, it's in on one side, it's not in on the other. It will probably come in. Um, I see you, why are you eating that? It's metal, you don't need that, get this bone. Here. Um, and so that was really the determining factor. Now, she's bigger. I like her better because of her size, but I decided I'm gonna stick with one of the two girls that has a fuller mask and um, take it that way. So anyhow, there's my rambling. Do we have any questions at this oh, we point? we have um, quite a few. <laughs> okay, I will take a break and answer some questions. Um, really quick, uh, we have people from North Dakota well, and yeah. somebody from originally from Alaska and is now in Riverside. Wow, awesome. <laughs> okay, back to our questions. Catherine asked, Keanu's boy, Oakley, is so gorgeous. What color of red do you think he'll be? He seems to be a, a lighter red. He's actually probably going to resemble Keanu uh, very, very much. When I go back and look at Keanu's puppy pictures, th they look identical. Identical. Have you ever gotten any quick eye that you've been attached to and you had to give them away? I mean, I've been attached to a lot of puppies that I end up placing for sure. So yeah, definitely. And like we had talked last week, sometimes I make the wrong mistake. 
which is why I decided not to offer the two puppies that I couldn't decide on just yet because I don't need to rush into making um, an offer on the two and then regret something. I learned that the hard way. So that's why I decided to just hold off on those two for a little bit. So hopefully I don't have to regret it. Christopher asks, how does it work to adopt a puppy from out of state? So you will um, fill out the application on our website just like anybody else. If you are from out of state right now, um, we do have a problem with shipping because of the whole COVID situation. However, we have a very long waiting list for our puppies. And so I'm hoping that by the time um, it would be um, ready for you to get a puppy that we wouldn't have a problem with shipping. Um, but you just never know. If you are out of state and you are in driving distance, definitely try to get to um, drive in to pick up your puppy. You can also fly in to pick up your puppy. Worst case scenario, if none of that is an option, then we can ship that puppy to you. Uh, Oakley seems super vocal. Are a lot of your puppies so talkative? Um, not always. I mean, we do get some that are pretty vocal. Um, I will say both of Jazz's puppies are very vocal. Um, but like Sookie's puppies aren't really that bad. Um, some are worse than others. Mm -hmm. Is it true when a puppy gets spayed or neutered, uh, when they grow, they become aggressive? No. No. Um, what are the most important tricks, commands to teach a puppy at eight weeks? Um, I would say definitely to make sure that you're the boss. They are not the boss. So you always are in charge. Crate training, for sure. Hey, this little guy won't stop biting me. Um, crate training, potty training. I mean, it's not like it's most important to work on the sit, stand, stay, all of that stuff. But important things are going to be like crate training and teaching your puppy not to run out the front door whenever the door opens because obviously you don't want your puppy to run out the front door and get hit by a car. Um, so I would say those are probably the most important and patience and crate train your puppy. Tanya asked, what puppy is the most breed quality you have ever had in your program? Um, hands down would be Cassie, which mm -hmm. is Kika's daughter. Um, and so I'm working on a video and I'm thinking about doing it for next week's live, but it's going to be um, Kika's family tree. And so if that ends up happening in time, we'll do that next week, fingers crossed. And so I have some pictures of like her offspring and their offspring and their offspring. And so the way it goes is Kika was my first, then it was Cassie, then Cassie had Mackenzie, and then Mackenzie had Diamond and Sydney. So those are my four generations, but Cassie by far, hands down, number one, top show dog, one best in show at six months and one day a week. <laughs> Would it be okay for an eight week old puppy to wear a name tag? Yes, for sure. Um, they just will chew on things. So just keep that in mind that if you are getting a name tag, that it is like a metal name tag and not one of those rubbery plastic ones that they can chew um, right off any of the plastic. Everybody's tired. <laughs> I've never owned a Kiki before. What are some things I should know about the breed? I'd like to get one from you one day. Um, I would say, I mean, there's a lot that you should know. Of course, we have a lot of videos on our YouTube channel that you should be watching. Um, but I would say go to the website, watch the YouTube videos. Um, right off the bat, you need to know that they're stubborn breed um, and that they will walk all over you if you allow them to. And so you need to be in charge. You cannot be a softy. Um, you need to know that they can be a vocal breed um, and that they shed twice a year. They grow that entire undercoat. So those are all important things that uh, may decide, you may decide like, oh, I don't want to deal with a dog that's too vocal or I don't want to deal with a dog that sheds so much um, or I don't want to deal with a stubborn dog because I don't have the the heart, I guess I would say, to um, be stern, but those are super important. Um, would you be willing to meet me at the airport if I came to pick up a puppy? It depends on what airport you flew into, because if you flew into LAX, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know for shipping, the temperature has to be below 85 on departure and arrival cur for current shipping available. When, what months does the temp usually drop under 85 for you in California? Um, so the temperature restriction is only right now because we cannot ship with United Airlines. United Airlines does not have that restriction, and that's because um, the, the temperature on the ground here has nothing to do with the flight itself. It has to do with the airlines and how they transport the, the dogs to get them onto the plane. So it has nothing to do with once they take off and what it is up in the air, because obviously it's not 85 higher outside in the sky. It's only on the ground. So that's why it's a problem. Normally we ship with United and we don't have that issue. When is it mm, under 85 here? I would say November. October, <laughs> I would say October to probably April and May, sometimes even in May. It just depends because we do have even in June, sometimes we'll have some gloom. So it's really just the main summer months that we have to deal with that. Big favorite asks, this is my wife's 40th birthday. Could you give her a shout out? Her name is Christine. She's always wanted this breed. Yes, happy birthday. Guess what, Christine? You have my father's birthday, so I already know that you've got to be an amazing woman. <laughs> so happy birthday and happy 40th. Make sure that your husband takes great care of you today. <laughs> is Siggy in the Kika lineage? Yes, yes, yes. So she's the fourth generation. Um, so Siggy and Diamond are full sisters from the same litter. And they are Kika's great, 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 great daughters. <laughs> um, what color size do they wear as puppies? Uh, 8 to 12 inches. So it just depends on the size of your puppy, but usually you're going to go 8 to 12 inches um, at 8 weeks old. Are there any puppies coming soon from Tanya? <laughs> Uh, yes, Aggie is due in like three weeks. Um, so we did her ultrasound a few weeks ago. There's two or three in there. Uh, no more than three. There's possibly three. Um, but she's due in like three weeks. Uh, how long is the waiting list currently? Long. <laughs> um, it, we don't give a number, but we will tell you it's at least 18 months now for a puppy from us. Once you're on our waiting list and that changes weekly. So that may be what it is today, might not be what it is next month, um, but 18 months right now. The good thing is, is at least we're having really big size litters, like a litter of six, a litter of five. So we're having some good size litters, um, which is always good because then of course it's going to speed up that process for some of you guys. Um, but yeah, it's still going to be a while, 18 months. Hey honey, yes. can, um, can you do me a favor? Can you get, um, 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 Dakota's puppies ready for me? Yeah. Um, since they're all asleep, I'm going to get Dakota's puppies in here um, so we can name them. So hopefully you guys are all waiting and excited to um, name. We have five puppies. They all have to start with the letter P. If you guys are new and you've never been on whenever we name puppies, we go off of your guys' suggestions. However, we do name our puppies based on the letter of an alphabet, and this litter is the P litter. We had some really cool suggestions. Um, one of the suggestions that we had was to name them after flowers, um, which I thought was really cute. Another one that I saw pop up and I forgot what it was, a uh, fruit. So um, fruit, but I don't care. It's up to you guys and Alexis will write down the ones that um, her and Kylie think that are really cute. Uh, we don't call our puppies by these names. They are strictly for uh, record keeping just so that we know who's who and we can keep track of that and also so we can name them whenever we offer puppies or we take puppy pictures and um, if we don't name them we don't know who's who so they won't be named that they won't know that name but they'll be named that if you know what I mean so P litters and five girls three black and whites two red and whites and we'll get them out here in a minute by the way we fixed our camera we Thank hope you for the sticker. Thank you for the sticker. Um, so hopefully we fixed our um, camera because we've been having some problems getting it to focus. And you saw when I pulled those socks up that it focused right away, which was amazing. So hopefully when I uh, show you guys Dakota's puppies here in a few minutes, it'll focus right in on them. So they are a week old. 
I think they're exactly a week old. Um, and so they do not have their eyes open yet. So we're going to see babies with no eyeballs um, and no ears. Like they can't hear, they can't see, they only can smell. And that's how they smell where mom is and nurse. But we'll show you guys the little girls and we'll come up with names. Um, while everybody's <laughs> posting their names, um, you want to answer another question? Sure. Is this breed good with little kids? So this breed can be great with little kids. It really just depends on, for one, how is that kid? Thank you, Sam. With, thank you, Sam. And by the way, Sam, I need to apologize. I thought you were a guy because I just saw Sam and I didn't know who Sam was. But I have to apologize because I called you a guy last week. And I know exactly who you are, but you're Samantha to me, not Sam. So I apologize for that. Um, so I know we're going to jump right to her, but let me finish this question. So it, they can be great family dogs, great with kids. It really depends on your children. Are they good with kids? Do they know how to treat a puppy? Um, how rambunctious are they? And also, where did your puppy come from? Regardless of the breed. Where did they come from? Were they raised with kids? Are they familiar with kids? All of those are important things that you need to take into account before um, I can really say, are they good with kids or not good with kids? Our puppies are good with kids. But if you have a Hellion, sorry, I don't mean to offend you, but if you do, then of course your puppy is going to be afraid of, of your child. <laughs> um, and so they could become um, fear aggressive, I guess. And so you, it, it just depends on your children. All right, let's jump to Sam's question. Yes, we need to. Uh, Sam asks, are Klikai good, are Klikai good candidates for PSD service dogs? Yes, uh, definitely. They can be great service dogs when it comes to that type of stuff because they're great companions. So they want to be with you all the time. They want to please you all the time. And what is the biggest, you can hand me the crate, honey. The biggest reward and the best thing that you could do when you're in a, in a bad mood or a sad mood, depressed, is to get puppy kisses. And this breed wants to do that all the time. They want to be by your side all the time. They want to give you love all the time. So absolutely. We're going to try to do this with leaving them asleep in here since they're all in here and, and sleeping away. Um, and so... I guess I'm just going to say whoever we pull out is who we pull out. Um, do you have a question or can I just show the puppies real fast? Oh, no, you're good. I have a question, okay. but it can wait. Okay. We have to name them. All right. So as you guys are throwing those ideas, I'll just grab the two itty-bitty wags. So we have two of the reds. Um, one is smaller than the other. But they are very, very similar when it comes to uh, their markings. Same color, just one's a little smaller. Okay. How are we like? Perfect. Absolutely amazing. Yay, we fixed it. That looks way better now. Perfect. Okay, so those are the reds. And so now that you guys can see them actually focused, Guess who's going to be super excited about the two reds? Oh, I already know. Sandy. <laughs> yep. I already know. She's been dying for a red. Okay, so those are the two little red peanuts. What's the matter? Why are you crying over there? And then we've got... Hi. Let's see. On the black and whites, we have two that are almost identical as well. We have two that have almost the same markings. So, I'll show you them. Good? Uh, back up just a tiny bit. Okay. It likes your shirt. Yeah. Hey, why do you like my shirt? Do I need to touch the cap? No. That should be fine, right? Uh, yep, there you go. And now it's slow. Back. I know, but I had to scrub to myself. <laughs> Back. Okay, now go slow. I should not do that. It really likes your bling. <laughs> there you go. That's better. Do a little bit higher. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. Center screen. Yeah, it really likes the bling. <laughs> 
So two of the girls, and then the last little girl is the only one that has um, a different mask out of the five. <laughs> Sandy said, LOL, I'm crying. <laughs> back up a little bit. And I go, back. It still loves the bling. Hey. Back towards you. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> there, that's perfect. I just have to come from a different angle. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. See? All right, we're starting to figure it out. Okay, so that's the baby girls. Let's see what names we got. Is it taking a minute? You got a lot? Um, I think we got them all. Good. There wasn't too many. Everybody kind of had a few of the same ones. Okay. What do we got? Okay, so Kylie and I like a few, but I have to say some of them because they all kind of go together. Okay. So um, this one was a group that somebody had put all of these names together. Peanut, Pumpkin, uh, hang on, where'd it go? I have to say them all together. Oh, pecan, peanut, pistachio, pumpkin, and pie. <laughs> and then we also had Pringles, pasta, pickles, paprika, peppermint, pepper, and pepperoni. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, periwinkle, peaches, powder puff, pink lady. We had so many cute ones that were all kind of like similar. Uh -huh. And then some of, there was peaches. Um, somebody said Pepsi. Pepsi, pizza. There was a bunch that were all together. It was super cute. <laughs> That's cute. Um, some of them that Kylie and I liked was pumpkin for sure. Pumpkin for a red. Would be yeah, super that is cute. super cute. That is so super and cute. And then uh, papaya, pistachio, Penelope. Um, we had princess and, oh, we got a super chat. Um, thank you, Natasha. Thank you, Natasha. Um, I know for sure that I, we really liked pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin for a red, for oh, sure. And paisley. Oh, yeah, really paisley's paisley. cute, too. Um, paisley, pumpkin. Okay. Paisley and pumpkin. Okay. And then, uh, oh, here's one of them that somebody had put together that was cute. Um, pear, peach, pineapple, plum, and papaya. That's <laughs> cute. cute. That is cute. I thought peach was cute, too. Peach for a red. Yeah. That's kind of cute, Peach too. is cute. Oh, poppy was cute. <laughs> Princess. Pearl. Yeah, we... Okay, so pumpkin and um, either pumpkin and Penelope. You want Penelope for, for the other red, or do you want no? Do plum no? Peach. Peach. Peaches. So peaches. Yeah. Peaches. So do peaches. So peaches. Pumpkin. And pumpkin for the two reds. And then um, paisley. Okay, paisley for one of the blacks. And then poppy. Okay, poppy. One more. Papaya. That's gonna be a long one. Okay, okay. Well, okay, remember, I gotta, like? I gotta write all these all the I time. Know. Pearl. Uh, Peppa. Poppy. Puma. Posh spice. <laughs> uh, Pebbles. Phoenix is cute too. Oh, Phoenix, where's that? Oh, all the way at the bottom. Phoenix. I see is that. Cute. That one's cute. Paprika. <laughs> Paprika for the other red. Okay, okay, okay. We'll keep peaches for a black then. Okay, so we'll do we'll do we'll do paprika and um peaches. No. What? Pumpkin. It wasn't peaches. Pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin. Peaches and pump or pumpkin. <laughs> we got confused. it. We got it. Okay, let me say this again. Paprika and pumpkin for the two reds. And then okay. the three blacks are going to be paisley, peaches, and poppy. Perfect. Perfect. That's them. Thank you guys for 
giving all of your suggestions and jumping in there. I know that um, it takes a little time when there's five puppies, so good thing we got that out of the way. All right, so honey, after I give you them, do you want to grab marshmallow and that'll wake the, the crew up because mm -hmm. yeah. they're all asleep, so we'll bring the crazies in. All right, and, and then once you give them to Eric, do you want to go over this question? Yes, you can do that now. He's right here, so perfect. you can do that. <laughs> I just saw one of the names is P. Diddy. P. Diddy. <laughs> oh, Pebbles. Pebbles is cute, too. Pebbles is cute. Yeah, oh, there was a lot of names. We had one with Peter Parker if we had a boy. Poops. <laughs> we had mom if we had a boy is Peter Parker. <laughs> that is cute. Okay, our question is, when should we put... Whoa. When should we start putting in our choices? I recently put in a deposit. Should I start putting in choices, say, about 14, 15 months? Um, so that's a good question, and I know that I have some emails to respond to you guys on, and so um, I do tell you guys to make sure that you stay in contact with us and communicate. That doesn't mean that you have to put in your request in order to stay in contact. You can always just reach out to me every three or four months and just say, hey, I'm still here, I'm still interested. Now, that doesn't mean you, you don't have to. You can respond to puppy offers. However, it's very, 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 very unlikely you will get a new puppy um, anytime soon if you're relatively new on the list. Um, and so we have announced to the four people that are getting the puppies. Um, we haven't done contracts because it's my dad's birthday and because we're live streaming, but I'll get on that tomorrow. So they have been taken um, as far as we know, unless anything changes, but I'm sure that it won't. And then the other two puppies we are going to hang on to for a little while, but once we figure that out, we'll announce that to you guys. So you don't have to respond um, to the puppy offers, but just stay in contact with us every few months at least. And if you want to, you can just respond and say, still passing, still new on the list kind of thing. Um, it's up to you. But it does help. <laughs> what helps? It helps when they say passing and still new. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, the next question is, does this breed shed a lot? Um, a lot of that depends on you as well. Like, yes, they shed. Yes, it can be a lot. Um, it depends on how often you groom your dog. So if you brush your cleat high every week or take them to the groomers once a month, even whenever they aren't shedding, your the amount that they blow their coat is going to be less. And the reason for that is because they are constantly... Um, removing any old dead fur and promoting the growth of the new fur. So when it is time for them to blow that coat, it's not going to be as much. I'm not saying it's minimal, but it will be less. So how long does that process usually take? Uh, depends again on how much you brush and groom, but it can be anywhere from three weeks to five weeks, just depending on um, how good you are at taking care of your dog's fur. Uh, they don't have to potty though, right? Were they they weren't asleep? Okay, perfect. Perfect. Are click high good? The crazies in. <laughs> Are click high naturally good at agility training? Um, yeah, they hi! Hi crazies! Everybody gentle, let them sleep. Um, they definitely can be great at agility and they have that energy and they want to please you, so definitely something that they can excel in. So if you have the time to do it, if you have the um, facilities where you can do it, definitely um, get your dog in something because it's going to tire them out. Oh, I probably shouldn't get rid of that. Um, I'm going to keep this, sorry. Um, it'll tire them out. It'll help you and your dog bond. And it's just fun. The dogs love it. You'll love it. You'll get to meet a lot of people with dogs. And so it's a great um, time for sure. Okay. This person, his, his screen name is J.S., and he said, I love brushing. <laughs> uh, what do you use to clean fur off of furniture? I use my vacuum, and I use my huge roller brush. Thank you, Diane, for the sticker. Thank you, Diane. Okay. Hi. What are the crazies doing? Hey. Last week, guys, last week we were overwhelmed with the amount of support and love from you guys. Like, I couldn't believe 
how much love you guys gave us. So we bought the dogs, this huge, huge, huge cot um, with the money that you guys gave us last week. And so as you can tell, the, the older puppies just love it. They're jumping all over it and they see that um, there's all these toys in their way right now. But they love it. So thank you guys for that. And they're leaving this weekend. Well, one's leaving tomorrow, one's leaving Saturday. So they're leaving us, and then we're going to have, yeah, then we're going to have you, Pisces. Yeah, then we're going to have you. Marsh is up there. Hi. Oh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Uh, Hi. Kyle asked, how are the dogs when you leave them in a crate at home alone for a period of time? Um, as long as you crate train your dog and you teach them that alone is okay, your dogs will be fine. Our dogs are all crate trained. They can all sleep in their crate for three, four hours and all night without any problems. The only one that gives me a problem is Rue, and that is only when we are eating dinner right there. And that's because my son decided that it's a great idea to feed her from the table. <laughs> so they're fine. You just have to train them. Do you think Marsha Mello will be standards? Yes, definitely. Hi. Definitely Marsh, that's for sure. She's ginormous. She's 5.5 pounds. That's a big girl. Most of our puppies leave here under 5 pounds. And her sister's not that far behind her. She's 4.8. Quit chilling on my laces. I'm really going to have to buy me a pair of shoes with no laces. We're good for now. Okay, cool. So I want to go over something else, which is... Oh, just kidding. <laughs> we have one more question. Real quick. Okay, go ahead. That. Go ahead. Two. Two more questions. Go ahead, go ahead. The markings on Mello's back are so unique. Do you expect those to change a lot? Uh, yeah, so she is actually getting her coat coming in a lot sooner than we normally see. So, like, her sister has this really uh, faint uh, stripe going down and little Mello's all coming in, but it's going to change a lot. Um, so, once she blows, she still has all her puppy fuzz. So, once she blows all that puppy fuzz, then oh, this is all going to change more. But this will start to get filled in, filled in, filled in, and then her undercoat, her adult undercoat is going to come in, and then poof, she'll look like a totally different dog. But yeah, her back is definitely changing at a rapid pace compared to most of our puppies. And then um, the next question we're going to do before you can uh, do your thing is, um, at eight weeks, how long can puppies hold their pee? Oh, not very long. A couple hours at most. Um, and until nighttime. So at night they can sleep for probably four to five hours. Um, and that'll depend on how tired they are. But during the day, every one to two hours, you wanna get them out to potty because you're working on potty training and you can't train a puppy if they don't know what you expect of them. So if you take them out very consistently every hour to two hours, then they're going to start to pick up that, oh, out here means going potty. And when I do that, I get rewarded. Um, if they are tired, they should be able to sleep four to five hours uh, throughout the night. And then within a week, normally, they'll sleep through the night. Okay. Okay. So, um, we have something that I know I get a lot on my phone is people texting my phone number and they text the word puppies. And so sometimes I think people misunderstand. So at the bottom of my um, emails, it states to text the word puppies to a phone number. And that number is what you're going to text it to. And if you do that, that is basically signing you up for text messages from us. And so anytime we go live, you'll get the text message with the link directly on your text. Um, anytime that we post a new video, anytime that we post anything, that isn't just for our waiting list because anybody can sign up for this and I can't control if you're on our list or are not on our list. Um, but anything that is open to anyone that is not necessarily on our list, then you can get those text alerts. So you're going to text, if you're interested in that, you're going to text the word puppies. So P-U-P-P-I-E-S. And you're going to text it. And Alexis, if you can write this on there for me. You're going to text, the phone number is 39970. So it's just five numbers, 39970. That's your phone number. 
type in in your message puppies, just the word puppies. You'll get a text back confirming that um, you've signed in to uh, opt in to getting text messages from us. And that way you'll get alerted um, anything that we give to the public. You can do that. Okay. Now, if you guys have a puppy from us, and you haven't opted in, please do so because we just set up something that's pretty cool. Thank you and for the sticker. Thank you. But what you're going to do is if you already have a puppy from us or you're getting one really soon, then I will set up your um, puppy's birthday. And on your puppy's birthday, you'll get a text from us. Of course, a little happy birthday thing. But you're also going to get a coupon code for our merchandise. So how cool is that? but I can't do it if you haven't opted in. So you have to opt in and then I'll plug in your puppy's birthday and then you'll get a discount on average your puppy's birthday. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. What's the matter? What's the matter? Hi. Hi, mommy. Everybody's so yeah. tired. Everybody's so tired. Hi, baby. Hi, hi, hi. Are we good? Yeah, you're good. Wow, we're so good today. Okay, then. Um, I would love to talk about, we did that, we did the male versus the female, we did some stuff on the breed standards, <laughs> what are you doing, Grace? You're crazy. Um, do we want to announce who's going to get socks? Oh, um. Are we ready for that, or are we not ready for that? Uh, I don't think we're ready. Yet. Okay. It it's... hasn't even been an hour. Yeah, it hasn't. It's, it's 656. I know that now because I have a clock in here. Mm -hmm. um, I asked for a clock because I'm always asking them what time it is. And so now I can see what time it is. So, all right. Well, why don't I do this? I'm going to pick up the puppies and bring them up close because now that we think we fixed the camera and the um, focus, you guys can see because especially Marshmallow, they're leaving us. I want you guys to see their faces. Huh? You want to see their faces? All right. So this <laughs> This is the smaller one. This is, hopefully, his, her family is here. But this is, hold on. Your sister's trying to jump at you. Well, that ain't going to work, is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she focused up. Hello? Am I talking oh, to myself? Oh, sorry. I was not, you're not focused, no. Well, Tate, what? <laughs> You just see a blue eye and a brown eye, and it's all blurry. <laughs> Is it still blurry? Yeah. Why? I thought I fixed it. It likes to focus on you. You know why? I see why. This this is very, very shiny. Yeah. Okay. I see it. I see it on the thing now. Hmm. Honey, can oh. you get me a different shirt? A different shirt? Yeah. The, the rhinestones, I can see the light is shining on it. Yeah, and, it really and it, likes the rhinestones. I told and you. And it just goes right to it. I see it. Um, so I, I'm, I'm going to change my shirt because I don't want to have that problem the whole night. Is uh, Mello going to Jeremy? Uh, yes. He's on. He said, we're here. Hi, Mello. Oh, uh, your daddy and your mommy are on. It focused now. It's focused right on her. What the heck? Why it's did... because your your shirt's higher up. It doesn't see your shirt anymore. Oh. I think we can put it closer. I'm super close. <laughs> it likes it further away with the big puppy. Back. Right there. Perfect. She's looking right at her. <laughs> Hi, baby. Okay. And then we have a lot of sleepy heads today, which is crazy. Why are we all sleepy? You guys are so crazy. Hopefully you guys all saw the video that we just posted of them, and they are obviously crazy and rambunctious. All right, this is Knight. I want you guys to know, Knight was very, very popular. A lot of people were interested in her. I think partially because she was the only girl that I offered, and the others were all boys. Are we focused? Yeah. Okay. Um, Ellie had a cute idea. Yes. She said, for future, what about a Zoom call with this year's new puppy owners? Can we 
we can see how they've grown. <laughs> yeah. That would be that a would be idea. that would be a great idea. Um, that's a great idea, and we just have to coordinate that. And hopefully, <laughs> soon it doesn't. Hey, did you guys see that, Jeremy? Did you see that? Back up. Right there. He's like, wait. His ears are on the side of his head. He's trying to get down. <laughs> um, hey, Missy, don't dig in my chair. That was Nitro, by the way. He's the crazy one. If you guys watched the video and the one that was running all over the place, super crazy. That's, that's him. perfect right there. And this, this is, is Nike. Nike. Hi, handsome. <laughs> That's Oakley. He's put it on the, the other camera. I don't know if you can see it. Oh. No, uh, it's you put, can, kind of. We can move this. Because <laughs> um, he, yeah, he is like uh, not even half the size. I'm going to move you guys just for a second. So bear with me. Are you still on that though, or? Yeah, I am. Um, just because I knew you wanted to see it, and I wanted to fix the the view. Okay, oh, there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Back right. to you. Now we can. Whenever they play, she can pan over. Um, this is not yet. Back. Oh. Right there. Uh, back a smidge. Oh, it yeah. likes her now. <laughs> Nadia, there he is, Nemo, perfect, Nemo, who is that, who is that, all right, come here, mister, everybody loves how crazy Nitro is, Oakley, focus, yep, perfect, it loves him, <laughs> My little handsome. My little handsome. And yeah, Nitro, crazy. We were cracking up. Oh, we forgot Naomi. She's over here hiding. Um, they're sleeping right over here. Yes, Nitro. Oh my God, he kept us laughing and how much he was jumping all over the other puppies and flying over them and just craziness. Okay. They're perfect, right where you are. Naomi. And last, Ocean. Perfect. So Ooh, she looks just like Nala. She does look like a lot like Nala. So for those of you guys who are like super interested in, um, in Ocean, which I believe, um, she looks so much like Nala. And Look at a little marsh. This is why I can't leave my chair because they get in there and they dig. Huh. All right. But yes, Ocean looks a lot like Nala. Okay, that's all the babies. Do we have any questions? No. Wow, we are quiet today. Uh, uh, my Nemo. Liza got Nemo. Yes. <laughs> yes, um, the four people um, have been notified that I think they all responded to, so they're all super excited. And yeah, that's it. So, um, Ocean and <coughs> and Oakley are four weeks old, or they're going to be four weeks old in a day or so. So they'll be offered probably not until next week because... I haven't had time. I'm going to have to do a video of them still, and I just don't have time right now. So that's that. I know you're working on the socks, so we'll get to those in a minute. Um, the bandanas are going to be up on the website so that you guys can uh, purchase a bandana. And um, there's different sizes. There's a clip, so you can actually take the collar on and off um, and out of the bandana so you could wash it. It's also reversible. Um, there's also, and I don't know when that will get up, but there's also a way that you guys can customize your bandana to whatever. <laughs> Did they see that? You're a booger. 
Um, you guys can customize your bandana with whatever picture you want, which is really cool. So I don't know when I'll get that up, but if you guys are interested in that, you can always just email me and um, you can send me whatever picture you want and we'll get that made for you guys. Um, we have also heard from a lot of you guys um, that have gotten your uh, merchandise. We've been shipping. Alexis has been super busy going to get everything shipped off to you guys, but we've heard nothing but great um, positive feedback from all of you guys, especially the masks and how um, good the quality is and how surprised you are and how much better they are in person than they even were on the live stream. So thank you for that and thank you guys for the support. And I think that's all we have. Um, I have the winner. Well, she has something to say first. <laughs> But I do have uh, three questions for us. Okay. Before I do that, let everybody wait in suspense. Okay. I have four questions now. <laughs> um, come on. Oh, have, you have any of your puppies broken a bone? Yes. Yes, they have. Um, in fact, just recently, um, Chloe, I don't know if any of you guys follow anybody on Instagram, but... One of our puppies, Chloe, who's from San Diego, she did something funky, jumped off the couch or something and broke a bone. Um, we have um, Arrow, who um, thinks she didn't break a bone, but she definitely fractured a brain femur or something. She did something pretty big, too. But yeah, we have. And when Brayden was like nine or ten years old, um, he was running with all the puppies, and one of them ran in between his legs, and he stepped on her front leg and broke her his front leg. <laughs> yeah, that was quite a while ago. That was a long time ago. He was like 9 or 10, so. Uh, it's 20 now. Okay. Oh my goodness. Will you only do a video of Ocean? No, I'll still, the video will still include her brother. Okay. Plus, because I don't know, let's just say, hopefully not, but if he doesn't end up with being great quality, he'll have to go to a pet home. What color is the mom and dad of your next litter deal? <laughs> Um, Aggie is red and white, and um, the daddy is Klaus, and he is gray and white. So Aggie is Simba's mom, and um, she's the one having puppies in about three weeks. Um, I've seen I've seen reds have green eyes. Pumpkin mm -hmm. and paprika are such beautiful. Are Auburn? Do you think they might? Um, I don't think they will just because, um, Dakota barely has a party eye. Well, she has about a half of a party eye and blue and Zeus is pretty strong blue eye. So, um, probably not. Okay. Are you ready for our winner? Yeah. Natasha. <gasps> Natasha, you are today's winner. So I'm going to send you off a pair of socks. Um, hopefully you're on here still. If you are, let us know. If you're not, I'll email you um, and let you know that you won, just to make sure that you want the pink ones, which I'm sure you do, but just in case. <laughs> Yay, uh, congratulations. We Hi. have a question. Hi. Hi, mommy. Hi. Okay. Are you raising them to sell them? I believe yeah. three puppies. That's pretty much what we do. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we do raise them and we do sell them. I see her. I, she's eating the fin. You're a bad girl. Yeah, you're a bad girl. Are all your reds dark? No. No, we have we get red, light reds, dark reds, um in the middle, but we get all colors. Okay. That's it. Wow. Oh, just kidding. One more came in. Um, are, you, are you ready for I'm it? ready. Yeah. Yes? Uh, sorry, I was reading another one. <laughs> um, at what age do you recommend to spay or neuter? I have heard that it's better to wait until they're older, like over a year. Is that true? Um, so that is a good question, and it's not something that I really have a lot of knowledge on, and so that's why I always recommend that you guys just talk to your vet about that because 
for us, obviously, we don't spay or neuter most of our puppies um, that we're keeping, right? So we don't have a lot of experience. And when we do spay or neuter, it's usually with an older dog that we're now retiring. Get up here. Um, and so as far as the age, we have it in our contract that they have to be spay or neutered by the time they're a year old. So we say by one year old. However, we do hear mixed stories on um, if we should spay or neuter early or not because uh, they are worried about growth plates. And so my recommendation would be, for one, talk to your vet. For two, at least wait until their growth plates close um, so that we are not the going to... The on. Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, that way you don't have to worry about their growth plates um, not actually developing fully if you put them through a spare neuter too soon. So usually growth plates close um, when they are about four months old, give or take. And so you should be fine as long as you do it by a one-year-old, and at least according to our contract. I got puppy food I've got to clean while I'm talking. Um, I have Natasha's on. Luke, who asked if we raised them to sell them, said, sorry, I'm new. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Luke. Thank you for joining us. Okay, well, then I think what we can do is I'm gonna pick up this and then <laughs> and then I'll put I'll put some stuff in the um in this pool and we'll see if we can well, get look, those look at Nitro puppies. Oh you can't. What? He was halfway in the pool and then back down. Um well I'm that's what I was saying. Wait until I clean this and then a little mess over here. Um <laughs> We'll, I'll, I'll pull that pull over into the center. Okay? Yeah. Oh my goodness. They're all waking up and they're all making a mess. Okay. Yes, please. Um, because the pool is a lot of fun. They... <coughs> do you have it on them over there? Oh, what? No. They're not over there anymore. Oh my gosh. Stop. <laughs> Why? Why, why, why? Okay. Can you go? Um, Here. Yeah, I'm just going to lay down some AP pads real fast. And then we'll pull that pool over here in the center. And then see what happens. There's a lot of puppies. I hope Jeremy sees his mellow. Trying to eat the pee pad while you're opening it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> um, all right, let's pull that pool over here. Oh, hold on. Wait, hold on, Missy. Let me put this there first. We have uh, three questions for everyone. You can you can ask me while I'm doing this. It's fine. Right. Um, uh, Lindsay said you talked about spay or neuter in relation to growth plates. Yeah. What happens if you spay or neuter too early? Um, can I have that? Thank you. If you spay or neuter too early, this is there are studies, so I don't know how accurate everything is, but there are studies that. Say that if you spay or neuter too soon, their growth plates don't develop a hundred percent. And you're you're picking up and mellow. Oh my gosh, eating. she's crazy. <laughs> um, so is there? What camera are you on? Oh. <laughs> So, it, sorry, if your growth plates are not fully developed and you don't, and you spay or neuter, then the sun, the, oh, sorry, I'm trying to do two things and I guess I can't talk and do this at the same time, then um, they possibly will not fully develop and they could stop growing before they should stop growing. And so that's why you don't want to spay or neuter too early if, in fact, um, that is.
is what will cause them to stop growing too soon. Okay, my goodness. This is why we don't always have all the puppies in at the same time because then that's all I'm doing is picking up messes. And I thought somebody who decided that it would be fun to go to the bathroom in the pool. And I don't know who it was. Okay, I'm going to pull this pool over. And then while you focus on them, I'm going to go wash my hands because I've got a mess. They're crazy. I can't even pull it over because she's already in it. Mellow. Mellow, 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 you crazy puppy. Hurry. Mellow is not mellow. She is not. Okay. Well, pull your chair back a little bit. Yeah. And then pull the pool back also, please. Meh. Meh, meh. Move, mama. There they go. In the pool. You want it back for there? Just a little bit, so you can see the front. There you go, perfect. Okay, I'm washing my hands, but I'm listening. Sorry, buddy. Are there questions? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, what is the process if someone from another coast wants to adopt? I'll have her answer when she gets back. Way closer. I know, I am. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, that puppy's crazy. And that one would be harsh. <laughs> okay, so if you are from a different coast, but you're still in the United States, it's the same. So we talked about that a little bit ago. If you are not able to drive in to pick up your puppy, and you have to have your puppy um, shipped. Right now we can't ship puppies because we have weather restrictions and because um, United Airlines is not accepting pet shipping right now. However, that will change hopefully as things start to open back up. Um, obviously it's best if you are able to, to fly in and pick up your puppy or drive in to pick up your puppy. Um, but filming that, it, there's a puppy right behind me. What are you doing? Hello. Um, it's obviously best if you're able to just come in and pick up your puppy, but that doesn't always happen. So we understand that, but we would ship your puppy to you. Uh, next question is, what size crates do you have for the pig head? Um, we have several sizes and you want to start off slow and small. Slow. You want to start off small because you don't want your puppy to have too big of an area and then potty in one part of the crate and then um, go and sleep in another side of the crate. So you want a small like 19 by 17 by 15, maybe even a little bit bigger, but not much um, size crate because that's going to help you with potty training. And then as they get older, um, I have them all on my website. It just depends on the size of dog you have also. But once they're older and they're potty trained, you can have it as big as you want um, because they're already potty trained. However, just keep in mind that this breed loves to be um, in a small space because they like to have den-like areas. So if you make it too big, it's not really den-like. <laughs> you guys are crazy. All right, I'm moving that there. Do they enjoy the beach? I'm new to the waiting list and the life in Rhode Island, on the Rhode Island coast. Um, actually, they actually have a lot of fun, especially at beaches, because they can go into the water at their own terms. So one of the things this breed likes is they like to go in the water when they want to go in the water, not when they're forced to go in the water. So a beach or a beach entry pool is perfect for them because they are in control of when they can and cannot go in the water. So definitely something that they will grow to love for sure. Hey, quit eating me. Quit eating you gonna me. do your little spill about thumbs up? Yeah. Um, one thing 
I can't see is how many people are on the live. So, uh, can you tell me that real fast? Uh, currently, we have 59 people. Okay, so, and how many thumbs up? 57. Oh, wow, we did pretty good. If you guys are new and you haven't already, can you do me a favor and give us a thumbs up? Um, because, for one, we love to hear from you guys, and we want to know that you are enjoying our show. Um, but also because, like he said, we want to see that you give us a thumbs up. Um, but also because YouTube likes to see the engagement with um, our community and that you guys are enjoying what we are providing and doing for you. Um, so if you can, take a second, give us a thumbs up if you're new. Please give us a subscribe button um, and make sure that you guys hit that bell notification so that you guys can be notified every time we go live, which is every Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. And I have a feeling that it's a little slow today, and I was kind of worried about this because of um, everything going on in this world. But for one, just because of the um, nationals, uh, what is it called? The convention for Republican Party? The GOP, right? Oh my Something like God. that. GOP. So maybe a lot of you guys are listening to yeah. that speech. Um, but anyhow, all of you that are here, I appreciate you guys always being here every week and supporting us. We have a question. Okay. Derek asked, oh, hang on, that was the one about the beach. Okay. Hang on, there it is. Michelle, do you ever crate the dogs together at night? Yeah, um, usually we will crate them if um, they're already, <laughs> if they're already crate trained, then it's not a big deal to, to crate them together. Um, or if, like I'm keeping a, a puppy and the mom is still somewhat raising them, then it'll help if I do that. But for the most part, I want them to have their own space um, and I don't want them to be too attached to each other because what's the goal? The goal is that I can leave one alone at any time and not have to be right next to the other one. So they need to have some sense of independence and security on their own. Um, but once they have all of that, definitely you can put them together. <laughs> you guys are all hiding. Um, you guys are all hiding. Ellie said it's called the RNC, and then Diane said, no way, puppies are so much better. Right? And then Tanya asked, how is Nova doing? Oh my god, she's good. Everybody's doing great. It's just overwhelming to bring everybody in, so they are not coming on today because I need a break. But they're good. Everybody's good. Hopefully next week everyone will be back on because we'll, we'll be down two puppies. Uh, Emily Miller ask, do you ever have Queek High people that have their pups meet up and have Queek High friends? Yeah, we do. Um, and in fact, we have a lot of that going on in Northern California. Um, there's a lot of our puppies up there. And so we do have that. I'm kind of jealous of them because they have a lot of meetups. <laughs> um, there's also, for those of you guys that have a puppy from us already or are getting one of the puppies relatively soon, we do have a couple Facebook pages. One of them is just a community page. Um, the other one is for Facebook um, owners that, or not Facebook owners, Queek High um, puppy owners that got a puppy from us. So if you already have a puppy from us and you haven't joined the Keep This Queek High owners page, you can do that. And then that way you guys can connect with each other that way. Um, and that way if you guys can meet up and you're in the same space, go ahead and reach out. Um, so that's what that's for. I usually post all of the same stuff on all of the pages, so it's not like they're getting anything special, except for it's just the community of our owners. Sonia asks, do you ever allow siblings to go <coughs> together? Yeah, for sure. Um, of course, you would have to be on the list for two puppies at the same time, and that's usually a problem because usually someone will get on the list and then they get on the list again later, and so it's not at the same time, and especially now with as much as the waiting list has grown and the popularity of the breed, it can be a little tricky to get two puppies at the same time unless you plan that out pretty good. And that's it for now. Yay. Oh, Diane said, sounds great. I'm in Northern California. Oh, so you're lucky. There's lots of groups over there. Lots. Mm -hmm. uh, baby. Baby. Now we have another question. Uh, in, Josh asked, in your five-week-old video a few days ago, I noticed that you had a cat litter box in the puppy play area. Are you training them to use cat spots? 
Um, so we tried this before, and it depends on how many puppies we have. But when we have a big litter, and we have a litter of six, if I don't have that and try to train them in that in addition to the pee pads, um, all we will do is pick up poop. Because think about each puppy pooping four to five times a day. Like, that's it. <laughs> oh, my life. Um, so, yes, we do teach them, but it has to be at a young age. The only way they usually pick it up is if they learn, like, around three to four Thank weeks. Thank you, Karina. Thank you, Karina. But if they learn at a young age to go in there, then they'll usually pick it up. So most of these puppies are pretty good at knowing to go there. Um, but some of them just go to the pee pad, which I'm okay with either. And I don't expect them to remember that and be litter box trained at home because they're also going to be introduced to grass, real grass and artificial turf. But it is very helpful when raising puppies in the house. And especially it's so hot right now. These puppies haven't even gone outside yet. All right. We have a few more questions. Yay! And it's only 725 and we're like slow. That's okay. Hey, honey, can you guys plan on something for dinner? <laughs> we had all kinds of food from my dad's birthday. <laughs> uh, if you fly in to get a puppy, do they go home in the cabin with you or in the other area like the dog? Yeah, they'll go inside the cabin with you. Um, you do have to book your puppy's flight along with your flight, so not every airline allows you to carry a pet on. So you do have to make sure that it's allowed and you do have to pay for that. And it depends on the airlines, but it's usually like $100, $125 um, to have the puppy fly with you in the cabin. Um, I know it is stressful taking care of the puppy, but does it make you feel, make you happy playing with them? Oh my gosh. Sorry, I yes. totally messed that whole thing up. So it's... It's a lot of work, um, but it is still very, very rewarding. And it doesn't matter. Like this morning, um, uh, it's like 5.30 in the morning, and I'm just rolling around on the floor with the puppies, and Brayden gets up to go to school, and he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm getting my puppy fixed. So, yeah, it's definitely rewarding um, and a lot of work. But I wouldn't change it for the world. That's why I do it. Um, Ellie asked, um, which dog is on the super sticker and super chat buttons? Um, Lily is on one of them. The gray is Lily, and then the red is a puppy that I sold. I don't even remember which one that is. <laughs> I just tried to find puppy, um, or photos in general that looked like they would work with a good outline because I had to cut out the background in order to make that. Um, sticker, so it just depended on the dog. I just picked some random puppy that I placed. That we had a cute picture of. Yeah, that we had a cute picture of. <laughs> and I do, like, I try to clean out my computer and I don't keep every puppy picture. Um, so that was another hard thing is, like, a lot of the puppy pictures, I get rid of them, so I had to go search for one. Uh, Tony asks, can you let the puppy go in the car freely? Um, when they're young, I would say be be careful of that because they they're not aware of how far down it is whenever they jump off the seat or how rambunctious they're going to be and if they jump all over you um so you want to be careful with that and um, also i mean it's a hazard if you have your dog just bouncing all over the place so as long as your dog is calm and just chills then yeah. you can i do but i always tell you guys don't do as i do do as i say <laughs> Um, so it just depends on the dog, but just know that eight week old, 10 week old puppies, they're very rambunctious. So they're going to be all over the place. Um, ah! and so it may not be safe. Hi, um, little mom. Liza said, Hey, we have some Orange County owners. Click I meet up at the dog beach. <laughs> there we go. I want to come. I want to come. Hi. Uh, that's it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I want to hear from everybody. Who's your favorite? 
Yes. Who's your favorite puppy? Oh, <laughs> while we're waiting for everybody, uh, we have another question. Michelle. Yes. If you're interested in two puppies, do you need to fill out the application again or just reach out to you and pay a deposit to get your name on the list a second time? Um, if nothing has changed and you are um, already on our list and nothing with regards to your paperwork has changed, then you could just send me an email. You don't have to fill out another application. You can just send me another email and let me know that you're interested in that and then I can send you the link or if you have it. But I would still reach out to me. Favorite puppies, Ellie said Nitro, Liza said all of them. <laughs> Tanya said probably Marsh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Did, hopefully Tanya saw Marsh when she was all laying all pretty on my lap earlier. She <laughs> looked so pretty. Oakley seems like trouble, I love him, but all the puppies are too cute. Marsh, Mellow. Yeah, those are my babies. Um, we have a question. Okay. Do you allow other breeders to apply for a non spare neuter clique high if the breeder breeds a different breed? No. Um, because unless unless I know them better very well or if I can trust them or if they have worked with another breeder type of thing that I can confirm things with. But usually, probably not. And I would ask, why are they wanting a puppy that is not spay or neutered if they're already breeding another breed? One breed should be plenty. <laughs> That's my opinion. But we also don't want accidents. Like, ouch. You don't want to, you know, have an accident with something. Uh, James said, still thinking of purchasing one. I live right here in Riverside. <laughs> And then favorite puppy, puppies, Ashton said Oakley is adorable, Ashley said Mellow, uh, Kirsten or Kristen said, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, Mellow, Ashley said Mellow, and then Diane said favorite puppy, I love them all, but the reds are catching my eye. Yeah, the reds are catchy. Um. And Catherine said, you know my favorites, oh well. <laughs> yeah, one of them's in my lap. One of them's in my lap. Handsome. Carolyn said, favorite puppy with you now, night. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, oh, right now in this group, night. Night is really cute. Um, night has a very nice structure. Like, she's very compact and built well. Um, she's a nice puppy. She has a good mm. personality, too. Emily Miller said, in order, Naomi, then night, then Nadia, and Ocean Ties. And then all of the puke babies. <laughs> so all of them. Almost all of them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, look at Nemo. Look at how he's laying in my lap. He was sleeping. Tanya has a question again. She okay. says, is the application different if another breeder wants to get a puppy from you? Um, the application isn't different. However, if the other breeder is... Um, in a different breed, then I guess it is uh, probably going to get denied um, just because you're not in the same breed. If it's if you're asking about a breeder who's already in this breed who's trying to get a puppy from us, um, then it would be the same. Uh, Sonia says, Naomi and Nadia, just like you, lol. <laughs> Katie said the same thing. I love Nadia and Naomi. Yeah. Aw. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, they love that dog, but yet yeah, here she is, eating a pee pad. <laughs> Mellow. She's eating the pee pad. Why? Why? Um, Ashley asked, which is your favorite? Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, that is adorable. <laughs> He's stuck. Um, okay, so if you're asking based on non-breed quality, just my favorite. Um, I would say there's two. I would say I really, really like, of course, Nadia. Um, but I love, thank you, Jocelyn. I was just gonna say that I didn't wanna know I, you. I love Knight. 
Um, I really like her head shape. So I'm a head person. Um, if you haven't, I probably have never said that. But one thing that really, really, really just gets to me is their headpiece. So as a breeder, I'm taking that away from her. She's got the feet. Um, like we all have our favorite thing. And for me, it's like the head. Like I want that head to be a Pika head, a Keanu head, um, a diamond head. I, I just love that head, even Simba, the Simba's head. Um, and so Knight has the best head shape. Like her muzzle's proportionate, it's nice and thick, it's very husky, it's full, and her fur is full. So I really love her head, and she has a cute personality. Uh, she's very bubbly. But her markings are off, and I don't want to add another puppy with the hopes that it's going to corrupt. So just in general, I love her. Of course, I love Nadia. Um, as far as spunk, hands down Nitro. I mean, that boy, he is a blast. He's going to be a very, very fun puppy um, for somebody who ever gets him. But um, he's just fun. But, I mean, I have my reasons for everybody. Um, I have to skip down to Jocelyn's question. Yes. Um, she said, you, this may have been asked and answered, but if we are local, are you allow, allowing visits? No, we're not. I mean, even my, my dad just had his 75th birthday. My brothers came here from Oklahoma, and they all wore masks. Um, just because my dad's 75 and I worry about that. We all just got our COVID tested, by the way. All, all my whole family, all the kids, everybody. I think that thing's stuck all the way up our nose. Um, but we're all clean. Um, and I did that because I just, I worry about my dad. And so um, we all knew we were good. Um, but I can't take chances. You know, my family, my daughter's in nursing school. And she already has to test to make sure she's clean before she can do clinicals. Um, puppies, of course, I can't risk anybody. So at this point, no. And this little puppy keeps eating mess. You're a messy girl. So next question. Um, how often do people come and pick up a puppy? Um, most of the time, actually, our puppies are picked up. Uh, it used to be that most of our puppies were shipped. However, that has changed a lot um, over the last year or so, even before the whole COVID thing. More people were actually local or driving in to pick up their puppies. And um, now, of course, with everything going on. You're so cute just laying there. A lot. I know, but I want to hold him. He's the only one I could reach. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, usually they do, but not always. Um, have you denied anyone recently that how many people do you use to say no to? <laughs> yeah, I think I deny something probably a couple times a week. Um, yeah. Um, where did you get the little fluffy couch that you're sitting on? <laughs> I get that, uh, I get asked that every single week. So it's literally a little kid's bean bag, and I got it at Target, and I needed something low that could support my back, but not be like, too high so that I can see you guys, and mostly just so I'm not sitting on a hard surface Target, and it's really a shark. So if you go to the kid's section in like the bedding area, it's, it's a little shark bean bag, Target. I filled out an application yesterday. Do I have to do anything else? Um, if you filled out an application yesterday, I am current on all of my applications. So if you filled that out yesterday, you should already have an email back from me if I got it. Uh, so I would check your spam. One thing is we find, depending on your email address, especially AOL, we do go to people's spam sometimes. It will come from um, info at kikasquikai.com. So check your spam, see if I'm in there. Um, have you ever done day in the life on what you do day to day on the amount of work it takes to run the program? So I haven't done that. However, I have filmed sections of my day um, for that. But it's really hard because, especially in the mornings, I'm the only one up. Like yesterday, today... And the day before that, I go up at 4 a.m. Nobody's up. It's just me. Um, so I have to film myself, uh, which is really hard to do. 
Um, but I would love to. I just, um, I think it would be fun, and I think that it's important for you guys to see, like, what all it takes. Like, speaking of that, I'll get to that in a second, but I have an idea I want to talk about. Um, because I feel like a lot of people um, think this is all fun. Like, this is what you guys see. This is all you guys really understand and know because that's how we share with you, right? And um, it's so much more. And the reason it made me think of that right now is because our son had to write a quick essay yesterday or the day before? Um, Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, a few days ago. And um, about something that you, you know, may not funny. know about or something, something that you may not know that means. It's, it was a letter to the general public. I had to help him. It was a letter to the general public informing people about what they think they know about, but they really don't. Yeah. And I gave him the idea, why don't you write about your family breeds dogs? And, yeah. and he got 100% on it. And it was awesome because it, it really was like, oh, the idea was you guys think it's all fun and it's all like just puppy kisses, but it's a lot of work and you probably don't know we have to remove puppies front dew claws, which is like their toe and we um, can't let everyone out at the same time and dogs are breeding and we have to be careful who they breed to and, and we have to pick up puppy poop. like. So anyways, this got me a little sidetracked, but I would love to do that, and it is on my list of things to do at some point for sure. It's kind of like we we were joking around with Alexis and Kyla, like, we should vlog. Like, who, I mean, I don't really know how to do that, and I don't have time, but it would be fun because, like, just for you guys to be able to see what it takes. Congratulations to me. For what? <laughs> my nursing school. Oh, oh, I was like, what? <laughs> yes, congratulations to her. She's, she's um, has, moving along. Has your dad met all the puppies yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was just here. <laughs> yeah, he's, I mean, he's the guy who probably is the one who gave Kika the most weight gain. Oh, my God. <laughs> because anytime we went somewhere and we couldn't take her, she went to Grandpa's house. And he would make her banana pancakes. That's what grandpas do, right? So, yeah. He loves the dogs. I always told him he should have one. Although his girlfriend has one. So, they have one. She's Cammie and she's 14 years old now. And she um, is the fattest clique you will ever see in your entire life. She gets banana pancakes for breakfast every day. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but, what are you going to do? Um, but I always told him like he should get his own because he has a heart condition. He's you know, 75 years old and this would get him a little more active, but he doesn't want that commitment. So they have a 14 year old. That's it. He loves Kika though. He loves Kiki. Um, next question. Um, well, <laughs> we have, we have Derek Gray and Richard Gray and Richard said that, oh no, Derek said that his daughter is on his dad's account being him. <laughs> so, so <laughs> we have them talking back and forth on two accounts. I see that. Yeah, you hear that? Dad, you hear that? <laughs> Don't feed your dog banana pancakes. <laughs> or waffles. Or waffles. Yes, he does do the waffles. Like, Dad, she doesn't eat waffles. <laughs> but she likes them. <laughs> She loves of course them. she does. She did love them. Um, uh, let's see. If you have come to know someone who has owned Click High for a few years and knows a lot about them and wanted to begin breeding and sharing knowledge of the breed, would you mentor them? Oh, boy. Um, I don't know. It would depend on that season in my life. Because mentoring somebody is a big commitment and it's not something that I take lightly and I wouldn't want to mentor somebody and then say, sorry, I don't have time for you anymore. Um, but at the same time, I hate to be mean, but I still have time. Um, I don't have time. So I used to do that a lot. I don't do it hardly ever anymore. Hardly ever. So it'll just depend how much I like you. 
<laughs> and how much time I have. Okay. Have you ever sold a puppy without a spay or neuter contract? Oh yeah, I mean for sure, but it's usually with breeders that I already work with or somebody that I've agreed to work with. Um, it's just the times have changed and I don't have the time I used to have when it comes to doing all of that stuff. So yeah. Um, this was kind of answered by Catherine and she put up the link, but uh, Jeremy asked, what is the red toy that Marsha's licking? <laughs> You gotta get those, I'm telling you guys, is the best thing ever. And that is the star mark. You can get them. put up the link. Perfect. And you can get them at Petco, you can get them at PetSmart. Um, but they last forever. Simba is my biggest chewer. And he has yet to destroy the outer shell. He doesn't destroy it. He only gets to the bone, which is replaceable. So best thing ever. Get Fabiana it. said, she's not fat, she's just a little husky. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the things that I was looking at a lot of stuff to put on the bandanas and on the shirts. And um, the other one that is, that's not fur, it's cleek high glitter. That one was cute. So that one was really cute. Um, but there's a lot of things. It's just like my brain goes on. And then we spend all day working on stuff because we get so excited. <laughs> um, if you don't have time, would you be able to refer them to an ethics breeder who would be willing to? I would be more than willing to give you recommendations. Of course, I just don't know if they would have the time, um, but definitely we could talk about that for sure. You can see her good on there still. She's kind of pushed She's back. She's kind of going back and back and yeah. back. <laughs> Fabiana did. said, would 100% buy that shirt? <laughs> see? She's cute, huh? Here. Here. Mama, come here. Come. They want to see you eat that thing. Man, it's only 7.46. That's okay. We're just getting personal with people now. Uh-huh. This is kind of nice. Not overwhelmed, huh? Puppies are tired. Alexis still has homework. She barely finished school in time. I thought she was going to be late today because um, she had class until 6. We start at 6. But she got finished at, what, like 5.35 or something? 5.45. Oh, 5.45. We thought um, we were going to have to run the show without her to begin with. Puppies are tired. My, my nephew and my nieces were here from Oklahoma, and my nephew's two. Mm. So he pooped them all out today, which was awesome. Then he didn't want to leave because he, as soon as they knocked on the door, puppies, puppies, puppies. He was so cute holding them. He was holding one of the babies and he saw, good boy, good boy, good boy, and giving him kisses. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. Yeah, it was cute. Oh, and of course, we had to make them all shirts because that's what aunties do. <laughs> so we made them all shirts. It was fun. Um, what do you prefer for fleas? Um, we use two different things because we have dogs that may be pregnant or maybe breeding. Um, but when we are dealing with dogs that are not pregnant and breeding, then we use Frontline Plus. And then for dogs that are, we use Advantage too. But I would go with Frontline, Frontline Plus um, is my number one. There's a bunch of different ones out there. Frontline Plus covers a lot of different things. So Frontline Plus covers um, more than Advantex does. So I like that one because of that. <laughs> Richard Gray said, hi, Dad. And Derek Gray said, hi, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That is I love cute. it. I love, I love it. it. Um, we kind of answered this already, but I know it's slow. So do you think Click High would be good service dogs. Yes. In fact, um, click highs have actually been in um, movies, or not even movies. Um, there is a reality show. It is called um, Couples Therapy. It is on Showtime, and it has a click high as a co-star. And so that was a really cool situation. That's one of our puppies. And there are people who have click eyes that are therapy dogs. 
um, or go to nursing homes and do that type of therapy. Um, so definitely they can be, of course, it depends on the owner, but they are definitely great companions and they want to be um, with their families and please people and they want to get love and they want to give love. So definitely. We great. also had a dog in San Diego that was working as one of the dogs in um, SeaWorld. Yes. As a pet show. That's true. That is very true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, two more questions. Okay. Do any of your clique high have funny habits? My current girl has an 11 p.m. bedtime and will fuss if sh if you don't go to sleep as well. <laughs> That's awesome. That's funny. That's like our kids. Um, well, not all of them. One of them. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I have some funny things that are just kind of traits of the clique high or specific, like Nala has her own thing. Um, but Simba has his own, like Simba just straight up. He just jumps straight up as and high as he can. he doesn't know how to go forward. And he can't go forward. He just goes straight up. Boing, 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 boing. Um, Rue and Nala um, love to play and whip their butts around to knock out their opponent. I love that one. They all do the clique high cross. If you guys are new to this breed, it's pretty well known on social media about this breed. They always end up crossing their legs. That's why in the video that I just made, You'll see, I think it was Knight. I can't remember if it was Knight or Naomi. Um, did the little Kiki Pie cross already at five weeks old, so that was super cute. Um, anything you think of, Lex? Specific? Um, oh, Nala, for one. If you are giving attention to any other of our house dogs, um, she will come up and she will start play biting your hand and just rub her teeth on you. Like, like yeah. she doesn't bite, but, like, she will open her mouth and, like, put her whole this, mouth over your hand. Yeah. And get you to pet her She's instead. telling you, pet, her, pet me. Pet yes. Me, pet me. Hi. That's a big one. Hi, Mama. Hi. Hi. Uh, at what age should you start flea tick treatment? Uh, as soon as they're five pounds. So, um, if the puppy isn't five pounds when they leave, then once they hit five pounds, cut them off. Especially in your area, like every area is a little different, but um, it's best to just get them treatment. That way you don't have to worry about if they pick up anything, even if you're just going on a walk. Um, are, you are, are you willing to work with a potential customer who is looking for a more calmer personality puppy? <laughs> I mean, I, of course I, I can, but the, the problem is this. These puppies are going to continue to develop these personalities for the next several weeks. And so when they're offered to the waiting list, there's no guarantee you're getting this super calm, mellow puppy for one. For two, this breed is not calm and mellow for a few years. So they are full of life, full of energy, and rambunctious for a few years. So if you think that this breed can be at just calm at 8, 10, 12 weeks, they're not the right breed for you. <sighs> have any of your click I had sleep problems? Hmm. Sleep problems? Like I've never heard of that. No. Um, no. I mean, if you're thinking like, I'm not sure exactly where, where you're going with this, but if they just don't want to sleep at nighttime, then they're not getting enough exercise during the day, maybe. Um, they're on the wrong schedule type of thing. Um, so you need to keep them up more during the day. Um, is that Nemo snuggling? Yes. And uh, the name of the puppy playing with the teether toy is Mellow. Um, yeah, now it's Mellow. And Jeremy said, okay, okay, Mellow, I'll get you one. Jeez. <laughs> She's like, Dad, this is amazing. <laughs> Have you seen these? Uh, now she's going to go pick on puppies. Christine said, would oral, flea, or tick treatment medication be okay for an eight-week-old? I don't know. I don't use oral. I use topical. So you will want to talk to your vet about that. I do think it is, but it depends on which ones. Um, because one of our puppies that went home recently, that's what they used. So I'm not positive. Um... Derek Gray's daughter said, are they hypoallergenic? No. 
they are not, and they blow their coats twice a year. Um, we do have people who get them, and they um, might have allergies to dogs, and they do get them, and they're not. They don't have a dander. They don't have an odor. So when it comes to that, it's not like you're going to have a lot of problems with the sneezing and stuff because of the dander. Um, but they do shed that coat. They're not hypoallergenic for sure. Um, referring to the previous question about looking for a calmer dog, I was more leaning to towards a dog that listens the most and is most capable of being a service dog. Yeah. So, um... Definitely willing to work with somebody like that. And of course, you know, we want to just keep an eye on each puppy and see how they develop over several weeks. Um, it's sometimes can be hard because we offer our puppies before they're fully developed. Um, so we would just want to keep a close eye on, on that. But I will tell you, this breed is going to be a pretty good service animal. Um, if you put your heart to it and that's what you're looking for. And if you have, especially if you have any experience. I switched you over to your bubble and the phone booth so everybody could see all of them cuddling. Hi. Hi. I see you. Um, how would you know if that your puppy is getting enough exercise? Because they're tired. Because they sleep good, um, you'll know. And, I mean, we say give them, make sure they have plenty of exercise. But it's when they're a puppy, they don't need hours of exercise at a time. You're talking 30 minutes at a time. And there's multiple ways to get your dog exercise, and they need multiple ways. That is exercise. What she's doing with that bone is working her brain and her jaw and feeding her and tiring her out. So you want mental stimulation and physical exercise. Um, and so as long as you do a good combination of that, you all know you're going to have a good puppy because your puppy's going to go to bed and sleep. They're not going to scream and cry all night long in a crate. So a lot of people that you hear who has a new puppy and, oh my God, they scream and scream for days and days is because they're not getting enough exercise mentally and physically um, beforehand. Um. Josh says, my friend's Klikai gives me straight up attitude when a few months pass without seeing him. It's funny. After 10 minutes, the dog's all over me with love. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, they have personality and they have attitude. That's for sure. Like, That's they... what Fabiana said. She said, where they it go? Do. She said they're fur balls with attitude, but such great dogs. Yeah. So it's funny because when Nala was little and she got her shots, um, she would not look at us. She wouldn't give us kisses. She wouldn't give us attention. Nothing. She wanted nothing to do. She just turned her nose away from us. And we're like, oh my gosh, she's so mad at us. Nova did the same thing. Now Nova does it. She's like, nope, not doing it. <laughs> it's funny. They get over it, but it's hilarious. Would you quit eating my food? I see a lot of videos of people putting ice in a kiddie pool for their huskies, and they love it. Is that something these dogs would love also? Yeah, I, it's funny you ask that. Um, I think it was last year, one of the live stream videos, we actually have a whole pool full of ice. <laughs> we literally went to, like, a gas station and bought all of the ice. We did. <laughs> Jen said, hi, Desiree and fam. Late to the game tonight. Our vet gave Jet um, the trio for flea and tick meds since he was under five pounds when he came home. Oh, good to know. Good to know. So that's something Sim I need to keep track of. Simparica trio. Okay. And an oral med. Okay. Awesome. That's good to know. Thank you. How's my baby? <laughs> I still love my water. Sonia said, a dog with attitude, perfect for me. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, my baby. Is there a difference in personality between females and male pups? Like, are males more rough and females more sassy, or is it all around? Um, it, or is it all around for all ages? Um, all genders. Sorry, I can't read. I've been on a computer all day. All week. All week. So... Um, they both will have their little moments of sass and, and uh, you know, turning their nose up and things. Um, I talked about a little bit earlier about the male versus female thing and the differences we see. And a lot of it is one's a little more dominant than the other, um, which is 
you know, the girls usually are a little more dominant than the boys. The boys take a lot longer to mature, but as far as like the goofiness and stuff, we see that more in the boys. Um, as far as attitude, you're going to see it in both. Talkers, you're going to see it in both. I don't think there's a difference between the two. Um, well, it's 7.59, so I think this is probably going to be our last question from okay. Tanya. What's the calmest puppy or dog that you have had the most... Oh, sorry. I read that wrong. What is the calmest puppy or dog that you have had and the most rambunctious? Mm. I mean, adult dogs, once they hit like three years old, they're usually a lot calmer. Um, so it would be any of them, I would guess. They're all going to end up being that way. Um, so it's not one. And puppies, like we have a lot. So I don't know. Let's, what do you think? Um, I think that Nala and Simba were both really rambunctious when they were younger. And um, Rue now is not really rambunctious. She's just crazy. <laughs> She's just needy. That too. She's very, very needy. Um, Nala is probably pretty rambunctious, but Nova's pretty crazy too. And Diamond, you know, it's hard cause to remember like back when the other dogs were younger because once you have more younger puppies, you tend to rethink about what they do um, and you forget about the other ones and how they were. So I'm guessing they're probably all pretty similar. Um, Nala is pretty rambunctious, but I think Simba's a spaz. He's at an age where he's still immature, still spazzy, still needy. Um, Diamond's very, very calm. Very calm. <laughs> very mellow. She is. But she's, you know, four years old. She's four, oh. and all she wants to do is chill and sleep and wants to be in the air conditioned house. With her pillow. With my. She's my dog, so she sleeps in my room. Uh, she wakes up at six and goes outside to go pee, and then doesn't wake up again until nine. Runs back upstairs to her room mm -hmm. to go back to bed. And she has her own goose down pillow on her bed. That's hers. <laughs> and when the boyfriend comes over, <laughs> she gives attitude. Watch out. She gives attitude like, <laughs> move out of my spot. Anyways, I guess that's it. We're 801. It is. But we did have a question. <sighs> okay, I'll answer it. Uh, Tanya, have you ever had it where no one wanted a certain puppy? Yes, but that was long, 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 long ago. Um, that was before the craziness happened and we had really long waiting lists. So we haven't had a puppy available outside of our waiting list in years. years. Like three years, maybe? A, a long time. All right, that's it. Everybody mm. says thank you. All right. Well, I'm going to hold up the babies that are big because guess what? They won't going be here next home. week. home. They're going home. And we're going to have to plan a Zoom with everybody. As always, thank you guys so much for all of your support. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. And you ready? Yep. Yeah. Let's hope this thing won't focus on me. Until next time, bye.